this is Dr. Sprawls again. I'm going to talk to you about patients and chemotherapy because you know everyone is different. And there are medical conditions that make it easier or more difficult to take chemotherapy, especially in regards to nausea. One of the odd things we've discovered is that people who drink a lot of alcohol don't have nausea from chemotherapy. I guess after you swum through a bathtub full of gin, you would notice a little bit of platinum in your blood. We're not advocating that you go out and start drinking to prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea or vomiting. This is just an example of how different people can be. There are lots of gastrointestinal conditions that can affect your ability to take chemotherapy. For example, if you're a person who has gastroesophageal reflux, we call it GERD or G-E-R-D, if you have gastritis, if you have a hiatal hernia, if you have duodenitis, if you have some kind of problem with your stomach, that makes you more susceptible to chemotherapy-induced nausea. We need to treat these conditions before you start. Individuals who have problems with slow transit constipation, they're at high risk for nausea. And we need to treat that with stool softeners and laxatives. This is easy to do if we know about the condition and prescribe for you medicines to remedy it. People who take opioids, they're much more at risk for getting nausea because most opioids are nauseating. We usually have to fight this with increased antiemetics, and we also are fighting the constipation that opioids cause. To, and if we know about your medication usage, we can prevent this as being a complication. Um, people who have anxiety need to have tranquilizers. We don't want you coming over being nervous and then getting chemotherapy and getting sick to your stomach. And we'll need to address this and prescribe tranquilizers so that you're not nervous when you come over and that your chemotherapy goes smooth and easy for you. Most of all, we want you to discuss your medical conditions and let your physician and nurses determine your fitness for chemotherapy in order to optimize your condition so that you don't have problems. <music>